Hi everyone, this is Ron Kuhlman from RCS Technology Solutions where we help our clients achieve even greater success by attracting and then converting and then retaining their ideal clients. And today, I'm, I'm blessed to be speaking with Paul Webb. Hello, everyone. He's talking about NLP, which I'm going to let him explain. But when I was sitting here, I've been in marketing for a long time, and some of the stuff that he gave us yesterday, some of the information, and he's going to follow up with some more today, is phenomenal information. And it really helps, in, not just in the sales process, but how people interpret things. So I'm going to let Paul talk a little bit about what he does. One of the small aspects or narrow topics of NLP is the process of how we learn, and how we learn is how we buy. So Ron, yesterday we went over the visual auditory kinesthetic, and they're called modalities, the modalities of how we learn. Now we didn't go over gustatory, which is taste, or olfactory, which is smell, but we went over the visual auditory kinesthetic. When somebody says that you're communicating with, I don't see what you're saying, that means they're more visual based. And when you change your presentation, and you helping your clients with this material change their presentation, you end up selling and being more effective. Building rapport three times stronger in one third of the time. And you know, Ron, people like to do business with people that they like and trust. All day long. Now you had talked about the, the scenario you just gave, like in people's marketing, there was a talk, the three things, the top, the mid, and then the bottom. Remember how you spoke about that? The top is what you tell them in the middle. Well, the top is where our eyes go. So right. visuals, when you, how do you determine what a person's learning style is? Well, the first one is the words that they use. They'll say something like, I see what you're saying, or tell me more would be auditory. Kinesthetic would be, I feel comfortable working with you. They use different types of words. The second way is watch their eye patterns. So a visual person, when you ask them a question, will do this. Um, let me think about that. Their eyes will go up. Auditories will go to the side, kinesthetics will go down. And that's the second way to identify a person's learning style. The third way, you got to go see Ron for that. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this stuff is phenomenal. When you think about it, when you, if a person looks up, if they look sideways or if they're looking down, you need to cater your presentation to them. And your presentation doesn't necessarily have to be from the stage. Your presentation could be from across the desk. If you're sitting with a potential client or someone you want to, or even a, a potential a, a child or, or a potential mate that you, you, you want to meet or you're having a problem with. It just helps you with better communication. I was thinking when you talked about uh, kids in school, you gave oh, an example of somebody who was in school and how they actually learn and how they, they were for like four or five years they were getting straight A's and then they went to another level where they stopped. They changed the way that they... they, they the teaching changed right. and it became more um, auditory based, more lecture based, and that visual student fell right through the cracks because they didn't have the visual component. Once the visual component was given, and it was, you couldn't write in the book anymore. And it was a first through fourth grade, you could write in workbooks. Fifth grade, they gave them a textbook can't write in it. Well, the visual child completely lost interest. So once we identified that, we then gave the child the actual textbook that they could write in it. And that was amazing. They went from F's and D's to A's and B's, and it was because of the learning style. Unfortunately, the teachers don't always know this. So we put this in the hands of the parents. It's the yeah. parents helping their children learn. And imagine how many kids are falling through the cracks or they're putting on medication like you had talked about, the ADD stuff, and it's really not. It's just that their learning system, the, the way their brain functions is different, and people just aren't picking up on it. Uh, we talked about NLP without telling people what NLP stands for. Oh, let's do that. It's neuro, which is the brain, linguistic, which is language or talk. And then programming is two words, input, how we learn, output, how we communicate with other people. So this short little vignette video that you're watching will really help you start to think about, am I communicating in the right format? Because if this person says, I don't see what you're saying, don't explain it louder. Yep. Because they're not getting it through the auditory talking. So neuro-linguistic programming, NLP for short, it's brain talk. Input, how we learn. Output, how we communicate with others. And as you better know what the person is that you're communicating with, what is their input? How do they learn? You switch your presentation to match up, bang, three times rapport and one third of the time. Yeah, that's phenomenal. And he gave some great examples yesterday. I could go on and on. Uh, but this is Paul Webb, and you guys, if you don't know him, you need to. How can people contact you and your program? It's Paul Webb, Paul Webb Training. So if you go to Paul Webb Training, or better yet, 
salestrainingforeveryone.com because this is for everyone. So just remember this, salestrainingforeveryone.com. And if you were interested in my new book that just came out, you know the title of my new book? Have you heard about it? The number one best-selling book? You haven't heard about it? That's the title, the number one best-selling book. That's a great title. No one's Fitting ever had that too. title before. No one really had that. No, and a full, That's crazy. a full chapter on VAK, the visual auditory kinesthetic material from the NLP industry. So you can get this where? You can get it on Amazon. Uh, by the way, I had trouble with Amazon. They wouldn't put my book on a, on Amazon. I said, why not? I said, we can't have a title of a book, the number one best-selling book. Because every time somebody searches the number one best-selling book, your book comes out. I was like, of course it does. That's Those why I called it the number one best-selling book. Phenomenal keyword you selection, man. That's you incredible. You can't change the title. Yep. They finally acquiesced and they said, yes, we'll put your book. So it's on Amazon, the number one best-selling book by Paul Webb, by Paul Webb, or paulwebbtraining.com, or the number one best-selling book.com. Yep. I bought that. So if you're an entrepreneur, a business person, I have, uh, I think I have 62 domain names to make sure that I drive the traffic to my products and services that I provide over the internet. So you can look me up on Paul Webb Training. You can see me at salestrainingforeveryone.com and also at the number one best-selling book Com. This is phenomenal information. We're all in business to, to make money. We also, you know, we provide services to help people. You know, we provide benefits and value to all them. But in order for us to, to really make that connection, knowing this NLP and this stuff, it, it just takes you through the roof. Oh, it, it takes you another, another yeah. completely different level. I've been in Toastmasters. I was in there for a long time. I was their website master. I was their public relations officer. I'm a DTM, which means I, I'm a high-level communicator, right? I've been in marketing for a long time. And the stuff he was talking about yesterday is phenomenal. I'm probably taking his course. I've already got his book. Thankfully, he gave it to me for free. <laughs> Thank you. That was nice. And, and, I got it, and I got it autographed, and you guys ain't getting it, right? It's an autograph. First, edition, first copy. But uh, you need to take his program. One more time, can we get your contact info, please? Yes, it's Paul Webb, W-E-B-B, -B, at, or you can go to Paul Webb Training. And then if you want to contact me directly, it's Paul at WebVT for virtual training. Dot com. So Paul at Web2Bs, W-E-B-B-V-T for virtual training dot com. I like to tell my clients, sales solves all problems. And if you want to increase your sales, you really need to learn about NLP, neuralistic. Neuro-linguistic programming. I'll let him you tell you. That. That. Yeah, I'll, tell, I'll let you, him tell the big, the big words, right? I'll just watch the video, get his contact, and, and click the button, right? But uh, listen, you really, if you want to increase your sales, you need to learn this stuff. Even like when he was talking about the contract, you were talking about the contract and how if you hold it up and to the left, and or, or you know how you how you do that. Uh, right, where you place your marketing materials, top left marketing has a, a huge hit factor as far as the retention of your marketing pieces. So whenever you have a marketing piece you always want to put your call to action in the top left area of the view of the person's eyeball so you're watching this video it would be up over here on the whatever I, I, I don't know if it's backwards I'm watching this screen right now but when anything you can place in the top left area of the person's vision such as on your website your contact information should be up and to the left and that's for right-handed people left-handed people it's the opposite but you know we don't sell to 9.2 percent or market to 9.2 percent of the population which is left-handed we market to the right-handed population phenomenal information watch this video a couple of times because these nuggets of information you got are priceless and they will help you you'll get two or three times your sales again contact Paul Webb for, for more information on this take his course read his book uh, how much is your book Oh, it's uh, 19.95 on Amazon.com. At, at, at 20 bucks, right? 20 bucks, <laughs> right? If you get one more sale, how much is that? I mean, it's just phenomenal. But it also will help you with your relationships and how you deal with people, your boss, your employers, your, your significant other, your kids. Learning this stuff is just, it's fundamental and nobody teaches it. Nobody teaches it. Uh, my name is Ron Cooming. I'm from RCS Technology Solutions. We help our customers achieve even greater success by attracting and then converting and then retaining their customers. And I'm telling you, my customers Customers, you're going to be getting the benefits of this information because I'm a believer. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank Fun, you so thanks. much. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks.